the Crooked Road has been such a strong supporter in keeping this music alive. It wouldn't be inspiring if it was only one way forever. I think the music has a, a linear nature to it that, that always uh, goes back and pulls out pieces from what came before. I love that young kids today have a different slant on it than I did. And I think our music will be safe from now on as long as those kids keep playing like that. That's the beauty of music. It's, it's all about interpretation. As a little kid, my father was a, a very average banjo player and loved singing folk songs, loved singing country music songs of the, of the day. And then the sound of bluegrass just kind of came flooding into my life, and I knew that I, I loved it. I think because of how honest it is. It pointed me towards a much more acoustic driven world and and you really go back to where all that came from all kinds of music came from those those hills and hollers back around there and I just think it's neat that that people are still uh, inspired to try to build something you're sitting in here in a room full of instruments and I've never gotten one of these instruments that didn't inspire me when I picked it up and played it I think I saved these guitars and they get to have a musical life they're not going to do anybody any good sitting behind a glass case. You know, they were built to, to make a joyful noise. I've always written songs uh, about when I struggle. Even the love songs, the sad songs, whatever it is that, that comes my way is a result of kind of my journey, what I'm struggling with. It's, it's the only thing that, that truly does inspire. Lots of times, you know, if I see potential for a young person playing, I might make them a guitar, just give it to them so they'll have a good instrument to play because I had things like that happen to me when I was a kid. People who own his guitars, and I'm proud to be one of them, it's a wonderful thing to have an instrument made by someone you know and call a friend. The reason I was fortunate enough to get one of his guitars was, he said, if you'll come play my festival, I'll build you whatever you want. Every year at Wayne's Festival, uh, he makes a handcrafted guitar. People come from all over, you know, to come try to win one of those guitars. They can win one there in five minutes without having to wait 10 years to order it, you know? I love Wayne in that he's never changed, even through all of the notoriety that, that he's achieved because of his work. I get a lot more fun out of seeing somebody pick that instrument up and play it, and probably more than and, uh, any money I ever get out of them or anything. I think Wayne is gifted in, in many ways, and probably his greatest gift is him, the person that he is. You know, you guys have been talking to him, you've heard people talk about him, you've heard him. You see humility, you see kindness. You got someone like Wayne who's regarded as one of the greatest builders that ever lived. The biggest reason he's a fine builder is because he's a fine player. To me, all that music, the blues, country music, bluegrass, the mountain music, it's all, it's all kin. That musical, it does latch on to you and uh, it certainly did me, you know, and uh, it lasted for me a lifetime. When you play it, it's when it, when it comes to life and it really, you know, these things are, they are alive. So it don't matter what kind of music you play, if you have fun and have a good time doing it, that's good as any. You know, we all have gifts. At the end of the day, what you really have in front of you is this moment right here. Just go find it, you know, don't be afraid to, to jump in the deep end. Thank you, Wayne. Still ringing. Don't cut. Still ringing. Check it out. This is a good guitar. It don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's our ending. Right there now. you go. <laughs> That's our